Arduino for Beginners, episode number two, Digital Outputs. Now what we are going to need for this tutorial is, number one, you're going to need your Arduino. You are going to need a breadboard. You are going to need a couple jumpers, and I've got uh, four of them here. And you're going to need an RGB LED. Uh, you want a common cathode RGB LED. That means they all share the same ground. Uh, common anode, which means they all share the same positive, will not work for this tutorial. And you are going to need a 220 ohm resistor. If you don't have a 220 ohm, you can use a 330. Uh, if you don't have a 330, um, you can actually you can go larger value. The larger the value is, the dimmer your LED will be. Just remember, don't use anything less than a 220 ohm, as um, you will destroy your RGB LED. It uh, won't handle the, uh, the amount of voltage that's put to it if you use a smaller resistor. Now, as for the uh, jumper wires, what I have done to make this a little easier is I kind of color coordinated them. Since we're using uh, RGB, red, blue, and green, or red, uh, green, blue, excuse me, RGB. I've color coordinated them for that, and then I have a black one for the ground. You can use any colors that you have, but it will make it a little easier if you do have a uh, green, red, and blue. Use that. All right, uh, well, let's go ahead and put this together. <clears throat> so first, we will insert the RGB LED into the uh, solderless breadboard and then pay attention to what your longest um, leg is on the RGB because that will be your cathode, your common cathode, and that's where we will connect the resistor. Get it in there, all right. Now on mine, it's this one right here. So we will connect the resistor between that and the ground. Then we will take the black, put that on the ground rail, and we will connect that to the ground, which is that one right there. Now, I know which pin is the, uh, the blue, the red, and the green. If you don't, what you can do is take another jumper, and you're going to want a little bit longer of one. And you can plug into the 5 volt uh, pin on your Arduino board and then plug it into your computer. And then go and touch each one. And make sure you don't put the, uh, the ground one that you have your resistor on because you'll short your board out and you could possibly damage it. But uh, try the other three. And then remember as you try them, um, plug in your jumper wires. Now I know mine, it's blue is the first pin. Green is the second pin. Uh, the third pin, of course, is grown. And the fourth one is red. Get in there. Be a little sticky. There we go. Now it's in there. All right, so I'm going to put the blue pin on digital pin 8. The green goes to digital pin 9. The red goes to digital pin there we go. Our circuit's all set up. What we can do now is we will go over to the computer. And first I'm going to show you, because um, this is the first time we'll be uploading the sketch, I will show you first how, um, you know, make sure you have the right board selected, because depending on the board, you are going to have to select that in the Arduino IDE to properly upload the sketch. And then also we will have to um, declare which um, COM port this is on, which is really easy to figure out too. So we'll do that first. Now what we'll do is we'll upload the blank, but we will use the built-in LED, which is on pin 13, but it's this one right here. We'll blank, and the only reason we're going to load the blank sketch onto this is just to um, test it out to make sure that we have our the proper board selected and the proper COM port. Sorry, um, I'm going to go over 
and fire up the computer. And then we will um, open up the Arduino IDE and we'll go through that. And then uh, after we show you how to, um, you know, get the board all connected properly, then we'll go through and put together the sketch, which what we're going to do is we're going to make this scroll between the, the blue, the green, and the red. And um, <clears throat> one color at a time and flash between it with a little delay between for how long each one's on. So, all right, uh, I'll catch you over at the computer in just a moment. All right, well, the first thing we got to do is bring up your Arduino IDE. And um, this is what it looks like here. So go ahead and click on your Arduino, open this up. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to Tools. And what we're going to do is, <clears throat> now on default, it should already be on your Arduino Uno. If it's not, and it says right here under Tools, Board, if it doesn't, you don't see Uno. Whoops. Change it. But by default, it should come up as that. Now, right here under Port, you see COM1 is all that's showing up. Now, that's default, too. I'm going to reach over here and plug my Arduino board in to the computer via the USB. Now, it's not going to show the other COM port right now because, well, it's not scanning. i got to close that, hit Tools again, and now look. Now there is a COM3. That's what we want. Now, the chances of your Arduino being on COM1 are slim, but there is a possibility. But COM1 always, by default, shows up, no matter if there is a board connected to it or not. But um, I'm on COM3. You might be on COM2, 4, 6, 8. Um, just do like I just did, and it will come up, and then select it, and you'll be good to go. Next, go under File, click, or actually you don't have to click, just hover over Examples, then move over, and then hover over Basics, and then right here, blank, click that. So, what this is going to do is, this is the blank sketch. Just click Upload. All right, it's finished uploading. Now I am looking over at my Arduino Uno board and the built-on LED, which is on pin 13, is flashing. So that means I have the proper board selected and the proper COM port. Uh, if you do not see LED blinking, you did something wrong, go back, start over, try it again. You probably figure it out. All right, next what we will do, um, now what you'll want to do is click File and then New, but uh, actually we'll just go ahead and do that, File and then New. But what I have done is I've already typed the sketch in. Now I do advise you to type this in. Um, this sketch can be found on the website, and you'll find a link in the description below. You can go there, and you can copy and paste this. But I'm going to tell you something right now. Typing this in yourself will help you learn it and remember. If you just copy this, paste it, oh, boy, I ain't going to. Why should I waste my time typing it in? I can go there and just copy and paste. Well, number one, you're not going to be learning as much as you can could. If you actually type this in by hand, it's going to burn it into your brain a little more, and you're going to remember it better. You want to take the lazy way and not really learn anything? Well, go ahead, copy, paste, but I'm sorry you're doing it the wrong way. But, uh, all right, Tom. Um, well, let's go over it here. Now, like I said, we were using digital pen 8, 9, and 10. So what we're doing first is we're defining, and we're doing the blue on pin 8, the green on pin 9, and the red on pin 10. So we're defining them. Now, 
a lot of other people, they like to use the integers, the INT, and do that. Well, an integer is something that can change or define it's permanent. It doesn't change throughout the sketch. And I still am kind of wondering why a lot of people aren't using define where they should because it keeps things from accidentally getting messed up where, you know, if you had something wrong in the sketch, it could change this, you know, from pin 8 to 9, where in this, it can't. Your blue is always on pin 8. Your green is always on pin 9. Your red is always on pin 10. They're defined. So I'll just leave it there. Um, as we get further into the series, we'll go over the, the define and the integer a little more. Next we have is our pin modes, and that's in the void setup. And we're defining them all as outputs. And remember, output, you want full capital letters. So you go PIN in lowercase, then uppercase M, and then ODE lowercase parenthesis. Then we have our blue, comma, output, all in caps, um, another parenthesis, and then semicolon. Do the same for green and red. Now, then we go down to the void loop. Now, this is where all the action happens. This is what tells the board what to do repeatedly over and over again. It just keeps scrolling through this. So what we're doing is a digital write. And it's all lowercase digital, then a uppercase W, and then R-I-T-E, lowercase parenthesis. And then first we're going to write the blue, and then comma, high, in capital letters. Another parenthesis, then a semicolon. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a delay of two seconds. So we're doing 2,000. Because we're in milliseconds. Uh, delays are in milliseconds. Um, there is a way to do microseconds. That will be another thing we get into later on. But 2,000 is two seconds. So we're delaying this. And you can change this. If you want it to delay four seconds or ten, just change this number here. Then next what we're doing is we're digitally writing the blue pen to low, which means it turns off. Then we're digital writing the green pen, which is uh, pen 9 to high. So it's going from 0 to plus 5 volts. Delaying again 2 seconds, then we're writing the green pen to low. So it's going to 0, then the red pen is going to high which is plus 5 volts, and we're delaying 2 seconds again. Then we are writing the red pen to low. And um, then, of course, it starts all over and turns the blue pen to high, delay, so on, so on. It will just continuously keep running through this until you unplug the power. All right. Um, well, I'm going to upload this. And uh, check, yep, I still got the Arduino board plugged in. I'm going to upload this, and then I will catch you back over at the bench, and um, we will see this in action. So I'll catch you there in just a second. All right. As you can see, we have it working here. It's blue. Red. Nope. All of a sudden, the green quit working on me. It was working just a moment ago. There we go. It must have just been a loose connection. That's all it was. Blue, green, red. Now it's flashing between them at about two second at, at two seconds intervals between each, and that's all there is to it. So now you've done your first Arduino project. Um, in the next episode. Well, this one we looked at digital outputs. The next episode, we are going to look at digital inputs. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a button, which will trigger this on and off. And also, we will be looking at the if statement. And that is very useful and commonly used in Arduino sketches. It's going to be something you're going to use a lot. Uh, along with the digital inputs and then after um that episode and that'll be number three in number four and five episode um we will be looking at the analog 
inputs and analog outputs, which would be pulse width modulation. So, all right. Well, thanks for joining us here today, and I hope to see you in the next episode, episode three, digital inputs. <laughs>